Welcome back everybody. As you guessed from the title of the video, we're going over these steel plates here from RTS Tactical. They are level three plus. That is what they say they are. Now level three plus is not an actual NIJ rating for folks that don't know. Uh, however, I am not an actual NIJ lab. I'm a guy in a field with some guns. So we're going to test them out today and see how they do. They got a couple things going for them. Number one is going to be price point, of course. Uh, something that is definitely a detriment to a lot of steel plates is the risk of spalling. So spalling, for folks that don't know, is when a round comes in, it shatters uh, due to the steel, breaks apart into a bunch of different pieces, and then uh, due to a coating on there, that coating will contain the spalling from shooting back out. But one thing it often does is it shoots up and out to the sides. Now, uh, with your traditional coatings out there, which are um, mostly versions of truck bed liners, um, after probably, it varies, but you know, three to four shots, you'll start seeing that. Now they claim, the folks over at RTS Tactical claim that these AR-600 plates that, with this coating uh, are way better than anything else on the market and will stay together and will block spalling better than anything out there on the market. Um, so we are gonna test that today, rest assured. Uh, if you're new here, uh, all plates will die. Uh, we will kill them um, one way or another, but we're gonna set everything up and uh, just start shooting them and see what they can actually hold up to and what this new coating can also hold up to. Before we attempt to put some holes in this armor, I want to thank today's sponsor, and today's sponsor is Gunspot. For folks that don't know, Gunspot is an online auction site where they sell uh, firearms. You can log on there, sell your firearm, scope, accessories, NFA items, ammo, etc. Speaking of ammo, right now, up until April 15th, for every person who creates a new account over there, you'll automatically get entered into a drawing where they're gonna give away up to 100,000 rounds of nine millimeter brass case, might I add. And um, so to basically determine how much they're gonna give away, it just depends on how many people sign up. So if 100,000 people or more sign up before April 15th, they will give away uh, three to three different people rather, up to 100,000 rounds of ammunition. Winners will be drawn on April 15th. And all you gotta do is create an account and uh, you will be automatically entered. Now let's get back to that armor. All right guys, we have the plate downrange at approximately 35 yards because it's a steel plate and I don't wanna be the next whistling diesel. Um, and take a 50 cal in the face. Uh, so we're gonna start out with some nine mil from our friends over at Mini Ammunitions and uh, then work our way up to some rifle calibers after that. So we'll see. As you guys just saw there in the slow-mo impacted right up here, absolutely no back face deformation at all and one thing of course that we're going to be paying a lot of attention to in this video is spalling absolutely no spalling showing on the outside of the plate and uh we'll step it up a little bit 165 grain federal 40 smith and wesson coming out of a glock 23. let's check it out Spread it out a little bit there with that 40, and you guys can see both impacts, and absolutely no spall getting through at this point. We're gonna step it up now with some rifle rounds and see how it continues to do. Next up, we have some 762 by 39 Red Army Standard stuff coming out of a Mark 11 upper. Let's check it out. Had our impact here, as you guys can see. Absolutely no back face deformation at all. And as you can see, still no spall evidence at all. Let's keep going. We have some M80 ball ammo coming out of our SCAR 17. And we'll see how it does. Let's check it out. As you guys saw there, we had our entrance hole. A slight deformation on the back with that one. 308's no joke, obviously, and again, we're at like 35 yards. 
Sorry about the wind, guys, but because of the length, I'm not running my normal microphone. Uh, but anyway, no spall. Absolutely none. Let's keep going. I'm pleasantly surprised by the lack of spalling on that one. So what I'm going to do is shoot more 762 by 39 and I'm going to shoot fast so I can try to get a couple hits on it. I don't think it's going to last any longer. It's already, like we said, it's done better than I thought. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what it'll do. Let's see. As I expected, we did have spall on that one. It just, there's only so much these coatings can do, guys. But as you guys will see there, you guys can see the fragments there coming through. And it's split there on the top. Nothing coming through on the left side. And then on the bottom, it's split as well, as you guys can see there. However, of course, the plate is still intact. But those spall fragments can hurt you for sure. So, you know, obviously, do you want to stand around in the same spot and continue taking grounds in your plate? No. Um, but it seems that the spall guard will work for a few rounds, which is good, because obviously you don't want to get hit by more than one anyway. But, uh, yeah, um, we're going to keep going and see if we can kill the plate. I have 6.5 Creedmoor. I don't know what that'll do in steel armor. I'm about to find out. As stated, I have no idea what 6.5 will do on this uh, medium. Obviously, 6.5 has got a really good BC. Good BCs are good for punching through armor. And we also have our Daniel Defense. This is the Delta 5 Pro long barrel. Um, so it's gonna be humming. And uh, it's definitely not rated for 6.5, I'll tell you that much. But we kill armor here, it's what we do. So let's do it. Let's check it out. Gotta admit, I'm kind of surprised at our entrance. Nothing. Did not go through. However, the spalling has increased, as you would expect. So it's still on there, the coating, but more pieces are going through. Let's keep going. Next up, we have some M193 556-55 Greener coming out of a 20-inch barrel. This has uh, caused a lot of armor to fail in the past, and uh, we'll see how it does in this one. Ooh, we gotta adjust that. Let's check it out. As I said before firing that shot, M193 has smoke checked a lot of ar armor out there, particularly when coming out of a 20 inch barrel. It smoke checked this one, went right through it. So again, that's not unexpected. Um, it just is a very difficult round for a lot of armor to stop. Um, that said, place performance overall lived up to its rating. I would say that um, the spall protection is definitely an improvement over what I've seen in the past. That said, it is still a risk that you're taking if you're using steel plates. Again, though, most people are never going to get shot more than once in a plate if they ever get shot in a plate at all. In terms of steel versus composite armor, check out my Body Armor 101 video. I go into that in detail. Um, but one of the cons of steel for sure is going to be the weight. These are not lightweight. And um, additionally, these are curved and have the shooter's cut, which is nice. A lot of steel doesn't. Um, so there is that. Um, but steel has a long shelf life. A lot of people uh, think that's very important. If you're going to leave it in your car in Nevada on your dashboard, maybe it is. Um, otherwise, the composite stuff is probably going to do just fine and last a really long time, much longer than it's rated for. These are generally going to be rated for 20 years in terms of working, but I'm telling you, these things they'll work the same uh, after you're dead. That they ain't going anywhere and they're gonna to continue to work just fine. So that is one thing that people really do like about steel. Um, so, yeah. The helicopters are here.
anybody who's watched the channel here for a while knows that helicopters frequently make visits here on the channel. So with that aside, uh, I think we pretty much covered most of what's important on the plates performance wise, what I think of them, all of those sorts of things. The price will be up here on your screen. There will be a link down below where you guys can pick them up if you're interested in them. Additionally, we have a channel exclusive uh, discount code that's good site wide uh, for the folks over there at RTS Tactical. Um, so you can check that out as well. But that's pretty much what I got for you in terms of the plates. If you guys like this type of video, make sure you follow me across social media. We have all the links up here on your screen where you can do so. Some of them are relatively sensor free, which I certainly like. Um, and then we also have a couple emails. One here on your screen is gonna be the daily deals. Should something like this go on sale, something like that. Uh, we'll shoot it out in that email. And the other email is just all my videos that I put up on YouTube since the last video went out. Uh, so that way there's no you know, gigantic tech company censoring your eyes for my content. And uh, we're also over on the Warrior Poet Society Network now. Link will be down below for that. It's free to watch my content. They also have some premium content if you're interested in that. Um, and there's a discount code for channel viewers as well. And I think that's pretty much it. If you like the video, we do a lot of armor shooting around here helicopters back uh we do a lot of helicopter oh, excuse me we do a lot of armor shooting around here so make sure you hit the subscribe button because we do these types of videos all the time thanks for watching guys i truly appreciate it and i look forward to seeing everybody in the next video